All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 147 pound division where unfortunately Floyd Mayweather Jr., according to experts, will never be touched by Geron by Terrence Bud Crawford. There was a lot of talk about what Terrence Crawford is as a fighter and what level of fighter that he is and how if he is a he can become a three time undisputed champion that he will pass Floyd Mayweather Jr. in accomplishments. However, Floyd Mayweather Jr. has proven that to be incorrect. And I will give you exactly why that is in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're just going to do some good old fashioned boxing, barbershop boxing conversation. And a oh, shout out to barbershop conversations. But I mean, barbershop boxing conversations, the ones where we talk about the great fighters that they're never going to fight each other because they're not in the same. Uh, they're not in the same era of boxers. And even though. One, they may have fought at the same time or in the same time frame. They are one was in the beginning of their career and the other one was in the later portions of their career. And we're talking about two incredible fighters, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford and Floyd Mayweather Jr. And if you recall, after uh, Terrence Bud Crawford beat uh, Errol Spence Jr., that uh, people were saying that he. Once he goes and gets his undisputed in his third division, which would be Jamel Herring, uh, Jamel Charlo, a fight with Jamel Charlo for undisputed, that he would pass up Floyd Mayweather Jr. Had a discussion with a friend I consider to be a boxing expert, uh, said, look, man, with, with that will never happen and explained exactly what it was that Terrence Crawford lacks that Flo that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has. And it is something that almost nobody gives Floyd Mayweather Jr. credit for. And that is he wants to fight the best. And he wants to prove that he's the best. And he would do it throughout his career, regardless of whether he had to go up in weight, whether he had to go down in weight, whether or not the person was older than him, whether or not they were younger than him. And whether or not he um, had to take low money to lower money to do it, he did whatever he needed to do to solidify himself as the great fighter that he is. And according to my partner, Terrence Crawford is not willing to do that. And it exempl and it showed itself in what's going on in the 147 pound division and the reaction that Terrence Crawford is having to demands being placed upon him by boxing fans. Now, before I do that, let me go into that and explain exactly what, why that is. Let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you guys so much for your continued support. It really means a lot to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, here's the thing. When Terrence Crawford got stripped of his belt with Jerron Ennis at 147 pounds, but he did not drop the rest of his belts. How did and what was the reason that was given by Terrence Crawford's camp for a fight, not fighting Jerron Ennis? He has nothing to offer. He's looking for bigger and better things. You know, the route, the rote. Um, excuses not to make a fight with a guy that is the best dude in your division other than other than yourself. Now, people say, well, Terrence Crawford is um, Jerron Ennis has never beat anybody. Jerron Ennis is not this. Jerron Ennis is not that. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., however, did and was willing to go up to 154 pounds to fight 
a young guy that even though he had a belt at the time, WBA belt, uh, was not a proven commodity in Canelo Alvarez and take the chance to fight Canelo Alvarez, who went on to becoming one of the best fighters in all of boxing, most definitely a Hall of Famer. But when you look at all of the big wins that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has had and the different types of fights that that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has had, Floyd Mayweather Jr. took on major challenges and people and almost every person that people said could beat him. He went at him and he fought him and he beat him with a few exceptions. Now, who am I talking about? We're talking about guys like Diego Corrales. Diego Corrales, if you guys have any sense of what people were saying about Diego Corrales when Diego after Diego Corrales beat um, Robert Garcia, who by the who's a now a trainer, you know, a world famous trainer. By the time he went by the name Roberto Garcia, but Robert Garcia beat Robert Garcia was this demolition uh, walking demolition at one hundred and thirty pounds who made much of the mainstream media said was going to beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. He beat him. Once he beats him, he moves up to 135 pounds and fights the best champion in that division in his very first fight against Jose Luis Castillo. People said he, that he thought he lost that fight. He went right back in and beat him again. Then there were guys at 140 pounds who people say Floyd did not fight like um, Costa Zoo, the father of Tim Zoo, right? The father of Tim Zoo, who uh, is now a, a champion at 154 pounds. The guy that had knocked out Zab Judah. Uh, and however, people wanted to see him fight Costa Zoo. Costa Zoo gets beat by Ricky Hatton out of the UK. Ricky Hatton is looking like a killer. Who does Floyd fight? Floyd fights Ricky Hatton. You have an undisputed, you had a former undisputed 147 pound fighter, Zab Judah. Floyd Mayweather Jr. fights him as well. He had been calling out and looking for a fight against Oscar De La Hoya, fought Oscar De La Hoya as well. And I don't think, and not that I could recall or my partner could recall, did you ever hear him say things like, no, I don't want to fight this guy. This guy has nothing to offer me. No. Where you have even even situations where you had Manny Pacquiao, who many people think is the best fighter of this century for some strange reason. Floyd Mayweather Jr. went out of his way to fight him. Right now, these all wind up big. All of these are big money fights after Floyd Mayweather Jr. becomes the big name fighter. But you don't see a lot of examples of him saying, no, I'm not going to fight this particular guy and definitely not dropping not dropping an undisputed title in order to not fight him. Now, that's not saying that Terrence Crawford's not a great fighter. However, when you run off those names and you run off his the resume of wins and who he fought, Terrence, Terrence Crawford has one guy there. Really, just one guy. That is Errol Spence Jr., one guy that is really a lock-in for a Hall of Fame. So the idea that uh, that Terrence Crawford would pass up on the second guy, that and, the, and I'm telling you, Errol Spence Jr. more than likely is going to go to the Hall of Fame. Jerron Ennis, at the stage that Terrence Crawford is, if Terrence does not get a Canelo Alvarez fight, which I don't think he is, he will have passed up having fought the other Hall of Famer that he had an opportunity to fight. And that would be Jerron Ennis. Now, obviously, Jerron Ennis has to go through his career and get to the point where he can be he can be named and looked at in that fashion. But if you look at everybody else around him, he is positioned in the same way that Canelo Alvarez was that Canelo Alvarez was when Floyd fought him. A guy that has Hall of Fame level talent and a Hall of Fame and Hall of Fame ability. And is and if you look at the town around him, it doesn't look like there's anybody really on that horizon that is going to give him a lot of problems. If it winds up being that that he gets there, then that is going to be on Terrence Crawford's career that he didn't fight that young dude and he dropped the belt not to fight him. And the stain's going to be there. That stain is not there on Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s on Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s resume. So that's why Floyd is where Floyd is and where a lot of these guys are going to stay below below him. And you can even look at guys like Manny Pacquiao, even though Manny Pacquiao has those losses in his career. 
Manny Pacquiao fought those dudes, man. K took a loss, got back, fought Juan Manuel Mar Marquez four times. He is also going to be up there. That's why I don't think it is good for Terrence Crawford's career to say, ah, I don't want to fight this guy, Jerron, because of what it's going to, what not fighting him will do to his legacy if Jerron reaches his potential. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.